as much as I hate to say it, I'm going to start this with the expression, in days gone by, yes, in days gone by when we actually used to model our data and do some data modeling, we would often have the concept of a domain, effectively a representation of a common attribute, such as like a credit card or a social security number or something that basically had a, a common definition. And ultimately, when that definition would then lend itself into multiple tables, which we generated the DDL for out of our modeling tool, they would all have the same rules, etc., and the same definition and the like. Now, the problem there is, ultimately, once you went from the data model to your physical definition, that linkage was sort of lost. You might have a common definition of, say, a credit card or something like that, but that might then appear in 10, 15, 20, 100 different tables, each with their own credit card column, maybe not that many, but as a result, that link, linkage back to them all being common is lost. How do we solve this? Well, one of the things we've done in 23C is we've taken that domain concept and actually put it into the physical design, not just the logical design anymore. So let's say we have something like a credit card. A credit card has a common set of rules. It has to be what, 25, 30 characters longer at most. Whether it's a Visa card or an Amex or a MasterCard, there are a certain set of rules that define what is a list of valid numbers. There's rules in terms of check digits and stuff, but even in its simplest form, you know, a Visa consists of, what, four sets of four digits. An Amex, I think, must start with a three and various rules like that. In 23C, we can now encapsulate that definition into what's called a domain. So here's an example. I'm going to create a domain called Amex, and it's a, a Varchar 225. I assume that's going to be plenty enough for an, for an American Express card. And one of the good things with the domain is I can associate the kind of things we would like to normally have on a column directly on the domain. So I can add a constraint here which says, because it's an Amex card, it must always start with a three. It must always then consist of a four, then a seven. And then the total length of the digits must be, I think, 13 or 13 digits following. I can also nominate how I'd like this to be displayed. And because it's a credit card, we probably want to mask some of the characters. So I've chosen a display here of asterisk followed by just the last four characters. Uh, the minus four says start from the end. Now I should note, you'll see operation 281 succeeded. You won't see that when 23C goes production. I'm using an older 21C client here and it doesn't know what a domain is yet. So the database is sending back, hey, that domain's being created and 21C is going, I don't know what a domain is. And so we get operation 281 succeeded. Once we get onto the 23C client, that will be obviously resolved. Now when I create a table, I'm gonna create a table called credit card. I'm just using the one column here called the card number. And I can now associate it with that particular domain. And this is the domain I can use on multiple columns on multiple tables. I don't have to go to each of these tables and each of these columns and add the same check constraint, the same varchar to the same display rules, et cetera, et cetera. So now we can give this a test to see if our domain is working as expected. I insert a first row here and it's leading 4-3, which is a valid Amex card, and that works just fine. I then try insert some invalid data and we can see that even though the check constraint was defined as part of the domain, the table has rejected the row. So the domain check constraint is working as we expected whenever we try. Now, if I try query my credit card, we would expect that domain display rule to come in. But if we query it, we can see it didn't. This is for backward compatibility reasons. The display rules for a domain are only applied to the domain display function. So if I actually run select domain display on the credit card, you can see we get that masking effect as we defined in our domain rules. What this means is, is if you're going to use those display rules, you might want to put them into, for example, a view definition, et cetera, such that you can hide the real column away and just give the domain display rules for things like credit cards and personal information, et cetera.